So the laser cutter is like a machine that um, basically uses the laser to cut. Okay, so the students create um, a drawing on the computer and the drawing is in black and white and the laser cutter will trace around all of the black area on their drawing. So they can draw a square, laser cutter cut out a square. First and foremost it's a design process, so the kids um, have learnt different software or different types of um, programs that allow them to, to design products. And we use CAD designs, that, um, CAD software that businesses and that industry use as well, so it's also upskilling that kind of thought processes. Where they're planning, they're designing, and then they get to see the finished product at the end. And then also being able to apply, you know, your classroom skills into the planning and the designing process. Well, the main benefit to a laser cutter is the speed of it. So um, we can service 30 students within uh, a quick period of time say about half an hour and they just load their projects on the laser cutter and it just zips around and cuts out their projects really quick as opposed to maybe say 3D printing where um, for just one project you could be looking at 8 to 15 hours. There's a lot of problem solving involved um, where kids are prototyping objects and uh, reworking things in order to make things better and make things work better. Well the main benefit to the students is that everything is designed on the computer. So it's computer assisted design. Um, it's all done in 2D. After it's cut out with a laser cutter they must assemble it in 3D. So they sort of have that have to have that visual representation when they um, design it on the computer. They've got to think how all the pieces come together in 3D. It's used for when kids want to create what they imagine and they can create finished products that are as good as what you'll buy. The students got given a uh, set of components. They got two speakers, they got a Bluetooth amp, they got some wiring, and they got something called a passive radiator. And um, they had to design their own um, sort of casing around that. It needed to be a functional design that looked good. Um, it needed to um, incorporate all of the all of the parts, so the speakers and the amp, which all needed to be in their own certain spots in order for it to work. They're just they're finishing the main plates and then they're ready to start. So the focus for the laser cutters on design. The time that the kids spend is focused around designing a product, about planning it out, about deconstructing models. They're at a stage where they can do everything up to where we press the start button. It can be cut out in a matter of minutes and then they see how it all fits together and then if it doesn't they go back to the design process again. You know, like the kids are doing it themselves. And now they're at the stage where they're able to create their own product. It's a device that enables kids to be able to create anything they want. 